Hey team, uh, let's just keep it going. Here we go. We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering, are we friends? Uh, sure. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Okay. Okay, caught her again. All right. What's this about now? Oh, she's at the boat. I see her. I see her. Woo. What are we, uh, part, was that, seven now? Man, loving this game so far. I know I say this every single video, but I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you guys are watching right now and made it this far, thank you guys so much. Um, again, if you can like, comment, subscribe, I'll keep it going. I'm gonna be playing some other games here soon. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. And let's keep it going. Oh, I got to row the boat. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but... They managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem... Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Uh... We need the Deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. 
I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it they out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage, broadcast their message live then made their getaway from the roof. Roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You'll soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What is going on? What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. I don't know if you find anything. OK, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. as Marcus gift from Elijah Kam Kamsky to Carl Manfred. Who's Elijah? You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Oh, he didn't tell him. Tell him there's more people, I don't think. I wonder what's gonna happen. Cause they were that other uh, FBI special agent was talking about how Hank and androids had some kind of history or something like that. And I'm wondering what's what happened. Check here first and I'll go to that back room.
here we go. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. They're all stone cold. I have to check CCTV recording, okay. Here we go, here we go. That's North. Josh and Trevor, I think. Demons did not break in. Okay. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Trying to hunt them down. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. Oh, snap. And I'm going to find out which it is. Oh, snap. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Stone Cold, who is it? Oh, it's him. Oh, it's that one. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! It's that guy to the left. That's the first one. It's that one. He was staring at me again. That's so creepy. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. The Deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. <laughs> oh! Oh no.
What do I do? Grab it. You gotta grab it. Q. Man. Again? Oh my gosh, dude. This is intense, dude. Come on, come on. It's not so bad, but I mean, people got wrecked by that TV, yo. I don't know. Wow. Uh, that was uh, quite intense. I, I did not know. <laughs> All right. Kara's, uh, Kara and Alice have come a long, long way, yo. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? I wonder if this is another trick. Come on. It's better if we talk inside. I think we can trust them. We don't have a choice. Again. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Wait, 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 hold 
on, come on. Watch out, Luther. Hold on, hold on. What's in there? Huh. Just trying to see if there's anything sus. She finally has a family now, you know? Just worried what's gonna happen to Kara and Luther, yo. Maybe even Alice, yo. Oh, poor girl, she's sick. I'm fine, Kara. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. Mm. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. Mom's spaghetti. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? You'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Yeah, Luther's cool. I hope he just doesn't turn all of a sudden. That would suck. Is it like Christmas or here? It is Christmas time. That I stuck to Rose. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. That's awesome. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? 
The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! What's going on here? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. Yeah, she's too young for that, man. I mean, this is not the right situation. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what happened if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! Oh. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Uh. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Well, um, I'm sorry I've been quiet throughout this whole, like, couple of episodes. There's just so much happening, you know? Really don't want to ruin the uh, the moment. World War Three. Eight ninety nine. Jeez. I 
hope Rose gets back soon. Carol. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. Hey, what? widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. What else can we do here? Can we play piano? Oh wait, what is this? Uh, okay. The police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open... Open the door! Shut up, shut up, shut up. I knew this was gonna happen. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. I knew it. Uh. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Oh my god, I don't have much time, dude. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. What other evidence is there? I don't got time. I got to open it now. I don't have time. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Oh, snap. Good evening, young up? man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. <sighs> Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. else in the house no no just us Suspicion, coffee serve. No, there are no androids here.
Oh shit. You know. I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, I, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. How could you forget that? What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Yeah, man, this cop's just chilling in here. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Oh, f Is somebody else in the house? No, 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 no. It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Oh. Good evening, Adam. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose! Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Holy crap, dude. Oh. That was really close. I forgot to put that Android stuff. Oh, I forgot it was there. It wasn't lighting up. That was really close. Like, you got to answer so fast. Oh, man. All right. All right, one more part. Here we go. Our broadcast is all over the news. We got what we wanted. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. They'll be watching us now. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Yeah. Since our broadcast, more and more have been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price of freedom, I'll pay it gladly. Killing never freed anyone. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murdering humans is going to make us free, then you're as bad as they are. That's enough.
And now what are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across the tree. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Let's mention police. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. Yeah. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Look at this leader, man. I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, that was easy. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's a drone right there. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Too far, really? Wow, okay. So it will be the last one. Okay, watch out, North.
Oh, for real? I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Alright, what else do I need to search for? Oh, let's go here. Come on, come on, let me go. You are free. alarm system found it Always in the way. Come on now. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Got eight minutes left. Okay, go, 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 go. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one.
There it is. The question is, how do I? Oh, can I go here? I can't climb that. What are we waiting for? Are oh, they gonna kick it down? Dang! Alright, W. Oh, alright, never mind. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Oh, what the hell? you do without me? I wonder how easy of a time everybody else is having. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. drive ever. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Dude, what an army, yo. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you! I'm with you! 
Then follow me. What a Marcus, beast. what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Wait, what? Transfer, transform capital park? What does that mean? They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Oh, choose our symbol? Oh, hell yeah! I'm gonna choose. You already know. Beast. The screens, Marcus!
why, because I'm just soaking this in. Over here! This I'm gonna destroy. A lot of destruction here, yo. And now the time has come for you to give us. All teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone, fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. them like animals. Who did? Who? No, don't fall for it, Marcus. Punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Yep. Peaceful is the way to go. I mean, especially for these machines, you know. I think uh, if they started killing, then they lose public opinion. No one will trust them. They won't gain any traction. Man, this is like uh, this is a crazy game, yo. Um, I'm going to end this part here. I'll keep it rolling, though, like I said before. Uh, thank you, guys. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Again, it's your boy, Radiating Exposure. If you could please uh, like this video, uh, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I gladly appreciate it, like I said before. All right. Deuce.